Welcome back, everyone, to Great Day, Louisiana. If you're just joining us, as you can see, we are out here in Mobile, Alabama this morning because we are showing you some of the fun things you can do here on a one tank trip. Earlier, we showed you a little bit of the fun history of Mardi Gras here in Mobile and the military history. Now, if you're looking for a place to eat, a place to shop, and a place just to have a good time, look no further than Dolphin Street. It's such a cool street. We're gonna go meet Carol Hunter with the Downtown Mobile Alliance to find out a little bit more. Let's go check it out. Hi, Carol. Hi, Malik. Welcome to Cathedral Square, right in the middle of downtown. Uh, it is absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much for telling us all about this amazing place. That's my first question for you. You know, the name of this popular street is called Dolphin Street. Tell me, where does the name come from? Well, a lot of people think it's dolphin, the sea mammal, but yeah. it's actually dauphin, which is the word for the eldest son of a French king. So essentially a prince. And as we are a French city, that was our main street, named for whoever would have been the eldest son of the French king. So cool, so here on Dauphin Street, I can see there's so many things we can do. Can you shop here? This is our basic retail, entertainment, and arts district. You can shop, you can dine, you can drink, you can visit attractions, museums, galleries. It's all right here on Dauphin Street. Absolutely, there's a beautiful cathedral right over there, like one we have in New Orleans. Absolutely gorgeous. And you can actually go step inside there, which is awesome. With beautiful tours. Absolutely. And what I'm curious about is, you know, obviously we're in the heart of downtown, which is awesome. You all have events that you all do. Tell me about some of the really popular ones that you all do. Well, this is actually the, the, the core of where our events happen as well, Cathedral Square and the, the sister square, our older square, Bienville Square. Uh, but we have every month, the second Friday of every month is Art Walk. Thousands of people will come down and enjoy strolling in the streets, visiting the galleries and shops. They're open until nine o'clock at night. Big family event, and that has been happening for well, at least a dozen years now and has just grown in popularity over time. We also have several music festivals that will happen. Uh, and in fact, this summer, there is a series called the Sweet Summer Series in Cathedral Square every Thursday night from 6.30 to 7.30. Not just with bands, we have uh, comedy improv, spoken word, uh, gospel music. So it is just a variety of entertainment. You never know what you're gonna find when you're walking up and down Dolphin Street. So cool, so much to do, I love it so much. Now, a little birdie told me that Mobile is actually one of the most popular food destinations in the world. Tell us why you all believe, not in farm to table, but a different type of to table. Boat to table. Boat to table. Right here on the Gulf Coast we have access to the freshest seafood there is. Uh, the oysters, the shrimp, the fish, it comes off the boat, into the chef's kitchens, and onto your table. And we have so many different varieties of preparation. You can have the classic sort of Gulf Coast fried seafood platter, if that's your jam. Mm. You can do wonderfully prepared, grilled and sauced um, uh, fish with so many options. wonderful accompaniments. I right. love that so much. Well, what's cool is that you all actually do a Bienville Bikes tour, walking all down Dauphin Street. And guess what? I'm actually going to take that tour today, which is super cool. Thank right. you so much, Carol, and for joining us this morning. Save for dessert. You're going to love the tour. Oh, I love dessert. Sweet, just like you. I love that. Well, I'm Thank ready to go check out this tour, so let's go see what they have to offer. All right, everyone, I made it down to our first stop here at Squid Ink, which is known for their eclectic eats. Joining me now to tell me all about the tour is the wonderful Chris Andrews, the chief eating officer. Hello. That's right. Hey, Malik, how are you? I am starving. I'm wearing my big pants. I'm ready. All right, Before I hope you're we go, I am too. Before we get started inside, tell me a little bit more about this tour. So the Bienville Bites Food Tour is a, uh, is a walking tour through downtown Mobile. We visit five to seven different restaurants in three hours. Uh, and really, our whole main goal is just to connect people to City Mobile. So whether you're a, a traveler, you know, first time the Mobile or whether you're a long-time Mobilian. You know, hey, we want to connect you to the Mobile. We think there's no better way to connect people than through food. Well, I am excited. Let's head inside to see what they have to offer. All right, Chris, as the Chief Eating Officer for the Bienville Bites Tour, I'm so glad you're going to share all of this cool stuff with me. Several things we get to try when we come to Squid Ink. First, let's start with this burger. It's calling my name. Well, one of the coolest things about Squid Ink is that, you know, so they put real food in their food, but they also put real history in their food, too. And so the, the, one of the coolest things about this is the Cadillac Burger. Okay. And, and the Cadillac Burger now has got a brie cheese in it, uh, a shallot and bacon jam also. Um, but uh, Cadillac was the former governor of France and uh, when, when Mobile was a French city. So that's kind of the, the tie there with the Cadillac Burger. Oh, it's fabulous. 
delicious. And what's cool is that, if you don't know, Mobile is actually known as the city of Six Flags. That's one of the flags. One of the other dishes actually right, so, is inspired uh, by a flag. Uh, what we got here, this is the fried calamari, and it's also inspired, that's uh, our British inspiration. Uh, that, well, after Mobile was a British city after the French. And then the Spanish came along in 1780 and claimed Mobile, and so this is the paella fritter. Paella is a, uh, you know, kind of the, the national dish in Spain. Um, uh, and so what we do here, at, or what they do here at Squid Ink is uh, fried up, and uh, like we do in Alabama, uh, fry everything up, and so that's how they serve it here. Squid so ink. cool, and look, there is squid ink, real the squid aioli ink. on the calamari. Amazing. Now we talked about three of the flags. What are the other three flags? Uh, uh, so after that was uh, the American flag, 1812, War of 1812. Um, then of course the state of Alabama seceded from the Union in 1860, and then the Confederate flag in 1861. Absolutely delicious, and we even got a cocktail to cheers with. Thank you, my <laughs> right. good sir. Yes, Absolutely sir. delicious. Let's go ahead over to the next spot. All right, everyone, we've moved down Dolphin Street to our next stop on this Bienville Bites tour. We're at an iconic restaurant here. Tell me all about Winslow's Oyster House. Chris. Winslow's Oyster House, this is the landmark restaurant in downtown Mobile. They started here in 1938. It originally started as a six-stool oyster bar, and it's wow. expanded into what we see here today. And, uh, you know, the oysters, you know, just like any good Gulf Coast resident, has to eat some oysters, right? Hello, and as you can see, they are speaking for themselves, everyone. Tell me all about this platter and what kind of oysters these are. We got four different oysters that we try on our tour, and, and this is the oyster Rockefeller, the spinach and cheese. This is the Bienville with shrimp and crab, the Monterey with uh, cheddar cheese and uh, uh, jalapeno uh, pepper and bacon. And the one that you're having is the uh, oyster, uh, char grilled oysters. Delicious as always. And when you come on the tour, you get to try all four of these? You can, yeah, yeah. You might have to fight your friend, uh, but you know, hey. Well, luckily there's enough for both of us today because I will stop fighting, you hear me? And this is so cool. Cheese, cheddar cheese at that on an oyster. I'm definitely going in for this one right here. But yeah. you also want to talk about this awesome gumbo here. It's award winning. It is, yeah. It's a, it, it was a Winslow family recipe, uh, over 100 year old recipe uh, that, they, that they started. Yeah, so it's been on the menu since 1938 along with the oysters. Delicious, and as you can see right here, if you're looking for an appetizer, fried pickles. Yep. Mm, absolutely delicious. Now look, I'm gonna finish eating this, everyone. Then, if you're looking for something to drink, alcoholic at that, we're gonna check out a really cool spot next. Let's head over there. All right, everyone, we have made it to our last stop here on the Bienville Bites food tour. For our last stop, we are headed to Cuba. We are here at Las Floriditas, which is a Cuban-themed restaurant, but it's also a former bank vault. Chris, tell me a little bit more about this place and why Cuba is so important to the Mobile story. Yeah, Las Floridas is a Cuban-themed speakeasy located in downtown Mobile. It's really one of the coolest places to eat and drink in the South. It's a really cool place. And Mobile's got a long history with Cuba. But even going back to our founding in the early 1700s, uh, Mobile formed uh, trade relations with Cuba early on. You know, we would send them things like uh, deer skins and they would send us back uh, sugar and, and salt. So yeah, long history with, with Cuban trade relations. So cool. What's cool is that there are small plates here, but I want to focus on these cocktails and the dessert. Tell me about what we have here. <laughs> well, we got the, the Cuba leaf right here, which is your Roman coat with an authentic Mexican coat. Um, and, and you've got the uh, mojito here and, and mm -hmm. Ooh. a classic food. beverage. Cheers, my friend. So good. Yes, Cheers. love that. Now, let's talk about this dessert. Tres leches. Tell me all about this. And there's another one that we have here. Yes, yeah, so we've got the tres leches, and we've also got the guave, authentic Cuban desserts mm -hmm. that they serve here. So fly. everything that you get is authentic. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. And I think we also have something right here. What is this? This is the Hemingway Bowl. Uh, this restaurant is also heavily Hemingway themed on the inside, and we've and we've got the Cuban sandwich uh, with some uh, plantain chips. Absolutely on authentic delicious. Cuban bread. Chris, I'm telling you, what a great experience. Thank you so much oh, for joining welcome. us this morning. It. I need to unbutton my pants, everyone. Look, <laughs> this is just a little bit of the food tour. It's so great. For more information on how you can get your tickets, head over to the Visit Mobile website. That website is mobile.org. You can also follow them on Instagram at Visit Mobile AL or Facebook at Visit Mobile. They also have a welcome center located inside the History Museum of Mobile. That address is 111 South Royal Street. You can also give them a call at 251-208-7304. Now, after the break, after a long day of touring and eating, you need a place to relax, right? We're gonna show you a place that you can stay here in Mobile. But before we go, here's a performance from a guy named Mitch Grincher. Take it away, Mitch. Hey. 